Today we're going over effect ideas for rotoscope. I have absolutely no lack of these effect ideas, so if you guys like this style video, drop a like. If this video gets to a thousand likes, I'll do a part two. Before we hop into After Effects, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. 50% of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed, and I upload videos like this all the time. This first effect idea is like having glowing outline around your subject. So drag on find edges, click invert, and then drag on some tint. Change that tint color to whatever you want. Drag on some kind of glow. I changed the blending mode to add. I brought on some flicker, that way it's flashing, and then my hue strobe preset. You can also just keyframe the hue throughout your clip. If you bring on curves, you can customize the intensity of the glow. This next effect is pretty subtle, but it's like this distort kind of background look. I think it's really clean and you can use it in a lot of different videos. First, I brought on ripple and then turbulence displace. If you notice, you can see the subject peeking out behind when you bring on turbulence displace. So if you don't want that, you can actually duplicate that rotoscope layer, unfreeze it, click invert foreground slash background, and then freeze it. Then if you turn off all the layers besides the spot where your subject is missing, bring up the alpha expansion and go to generate fill layer. It'll actually use some content aware. That way, when you add turbulence displace and these ripple kind of effects on the background, you won't see your subject peeking out from behind. I brought up the feather on the rotoscope layer where the subject was missing that way it blends better and then pre-compose that fill layer as well as the layer where the subject is missing and now when you bring on turbulence displace or any of these distort effects you're not going to see your subject peeking out from behind i brought on motion tile and brought that all the way to the top of the effect and turned it to 200 200 and made sure to mirror the edges that way there's no black spots around the edge of the video and then finally i brought on sapphire distort and i keyframed the effects to not be taking place at all to getting more intense throughout the clip This third effect is a little bit more of a glitchy kind of liquid style effect. I run Displacer Pro. It's a free plugin. It's very similar to Displacement Map. So if you don't have Displacer Pro, you don't feel like installing it, you can just use Displacement Map that's built into After Effects. I always start off by making the anchor X and Y 50% and then bringing the edge behavior to mirror. I keyframe the scale from like 90-ish to 100%. That way it kind of just zooms in, brought on some optics compensation, made sure to click reverse lens distortion and keyframed it from somewhere around 130 to zero. Then bring on some glow of your choice and change the color to whatever you want. I also keyframe the intensity of that. I play with the keyframes of each effect, that way they don't all come in at the exact same time. And then I use the same exact values, that way it happens as a transition out as well. And then lastly, if you're still looking for effect ideas or just want to save time while editing and support the channel, I have a bunch of editing packs like the Liquid Explosion V1, V2, the Motion Warp, Opium Pack, and they all work so well with rotoscoped out clips. I'll show you guys a few examples here. The combinations and possibilities are really endless. You can bring on the presets to the rotoscoped out clip, the background layer, you can duplicate the background layer. Of all the editing packs that I just mentioned, linked in the description, it's a great way to support the channel, save yourself some time, level up your videos, and just help with the editor's block that you get every once in a while. Personally, my favorite way to use these presets is to drag them on and then change the values to get something a little bit more unique and kind of just a good starting point for some effects. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys in this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you tomorrow. Peace!